Ben here, bringing you a new lecture today on my coronary artery calcium score and my risk of dying of a heart attack following the animal-based diet. So what is the coronary artery calcium score? Well, it's basically a bunch of x-ray series of your heart vasculature, and it picks up calcium deposits that sit in your arteries, and that's basically how heart attacks happen. You get enough calcium and plaque buildup, boom, you get a heart attack or a stroke. Um, that's how these things happen. So why get this one? What's the benefit? Well, it's a real-time view into your arteries. If you ever wondered if you're having plaque buildup, well, this is a pretty quick test. It takes about three minutes to do, and you get a real-time image of what your insides look like. You get a score from 0 to 1,000. Obviously, the lower score you get, the better. Um, you don't want to be anywhere near the 100-plus range. Why not just follow the guidelines, you might say? My primary doesn't want to order this thing. Well, as the British Medical Journal summarized so perfectly, it's time to shift the public health message in the prevention and treatment of coronary artery disease away from measuring serum lipids and reducing dietary saturated fats. So this leads us to ask, what are we supposed to do? Um, you know, we are missing patients who go on to have heart attacks. Heart disease is still the number one killer. Um, you know, the study that I quote very often in this channel here, uh, the Get With Guidelines, a bunch of people admitted to hospitals, heart attack, strokes. Half of these patients had a normal cholesterol panel. So what's the primary to do? Well, the primary needs to look at the advanced lipid fractionation and needs to look at coronary artery calcium scores and needs to stop patients, and needs to stop telling patients just to cut out uh, eggs and don't eat the egg yolks and don't eat the steak because that's just not true anymore. We understand that heart disease is an inflammatory disorder. Just cutting out the bacon isn't gonna change that risk. Just putting people on a statin uh, to lower that cholesterol, to look at it in isolation like that, isn't really doing anybody any benefit. A statin may decrease inflammation, but why don't we really find the underlying cause for the inflammation? One of them being the seed oils, the refined carbs. We know these are highly inflammatory. Uh, but it's to understand inflammation, it takes a detailed history. At Iron DPC, I go and visit the patient in their home. I look at their lifestyle factors. I look at their kitchen inventory. Um, I look at you know their their their, their home setting. Uh, I see what is causing the inflammation. Is it stress, sleep? Uh, what's going on here? Why do they have high blood pressure? What's what's the underlying cause here? Um, because there's a lot of misinformation out there. You do any Google search. And if you say, oh, well, red meat causes cancer, red meat causes heart disease. And you can see a lot of these things, <laughs> all of this media is funded or sponsored by uh, the vegan agenda, uh, plant-based uh, vegan burgers, uh, and the pharmaceutical industry that wants to push the cholesterol-lowering pills on you. Uh, so we get a lot of misinformation out there, and people don't know what to think. And my, my answer is don't Google it. Come to Iron DPC and we'll figure out what's actually going on. Uh, what does my diet look like? Well, uh, in preparation for tennis tournaments, it's pretty saturated fat heavy, pretty animal-based heavy, and that's pretty much how I live my life for the most part. Uh, very low carbohydrate, no seed oils, absolutely none of those. Um, red meats, plain red meats, bacon, organ meats. I love fruit, fruit and honey, especially for tennis tournaments. I'm utilizing those in between the games. They help uh, you know, give me that energy boost. But for the most part, I'm not eating gluten. I'm not eating seed oils. Um, I'm eating a saturated fat, heavy, and animal-based diet pretty heavily. Um, so I wanted to see what my coronary artery calcium score looked like. Uh, the vegans tell me that I'm going to die of a heart attack, right? But here I am, nearing age 30. I wanted to check. So my coronary artery calcium score is zero. Negativo. No plaque in my arteries. Here's my heart. Um, you can see there's no calcium shining in the light of the imaging. Um, my score is zero. I have no risk of having a heart attack. Which you think, oh, you're just 30. Uh, you're not going to have a heart attack. I've seen 30-year-olds have heart attacks. I've seen them have high blood pressure. Um, it's getting earlier and earlier we're seeing it. You know, Obviously, I'm not jabbed. I'm not going to do that. Uh, but there, we're seeing younger and younger people patients even outside of the jab having heart attacks and so forth, heart disease. Um, it's the number one killer. So we need to be 
focus on preventing it, screening for it, and uh, treating it, reversing it. Uh, once the plaque is built up, that's that's a tough one to treat. Um, reversing that, it's not quite clear if you, it can be reversed, but we want to prevent it from forming in the first place. And if you see it forming, hey, maybe you need to make some changes there. And that's why I did this. So should you get this test? My answer is yes, you should get this test, uh, especially if you have heart disease in the family or if you're following a low carbohydrate, high fat diet and you have people telling you you're going to die of a heart attack, you want just that peace of mind. This test is an amazing test. It takes three minutes, a bit of radiation, but hey, you know, I got peace of mind for the next you know, 5, 10, 20 years. Uh, Iron DPC, we can order this test, uh, 75 bucks. Insurance typically doesn't cover it. Um, you know, as you say here on this website, you have um, 100 to $400 you can rent. We, get, we got it for 75 bucks here. You come to Iron DPC, we'll, we'll order this test. Um, and why do I do this? Well, we can rub it in the vegan's face. Saturated fat does not clog arteries. And the fact checkers, they can't fact check a coronary artery calcium score on yourself. Hope you enjoyed this lecture. And I hope to see you soon in my clinic. Bye.